Hello Horror Hounds, the next movie up for us is Hammer's Kiss of the Vampire released in 1963. So before the movie review, we're gonna check out the trailer for it. And I'm very intrigued to see how they're gonna sell this movie. It's the it's their third vampire movie, but it's the first one that doesn't isn't officially part of their Dracula film series. So there's uh, now no Peter Cushing as Van Helsing. There's no Christopher Lee as Dracula. They even dropped Dracula from the title like they sneakily kept Dracula in the title for Brides of Dracula, the second movie. So I'm wondering what they're gonna to push to sell this because there are no big replacement names. It doesn't have the gore that was synonymous with other Hammer movies and it doesn't have, frankly, if I'm being basic about it, it doesn't have the tits and teeth of other Hammer movies. So I wonder, I wonder what they're gonna to do to sell this. And I wonder if perhaps they're maybe gonna try and oversell it, overhype this as a, the story of a, an immortal horror or something like that. So there's only one way to find out and that's to hit play on the trailer now. A young couple in love. Ah, uh, enjoying a romantic honeymoon. A romantic honeymoon. Enjoying the pleasure of each other's company. The pleasure of each other's company. Right, they're selling it with sex. Of the kiss of love. <laughs> right, okay, watch a honeymooning couple. They're really making this out to be a lot sexier than it is. Yes, I've heard of vampire bats. No, not bats. Vampires. Human vampires. Another gorgeous hammer vampire woman. Vampire is a spine chilling drama of two young people. A spine chilling. Yes. Yes. This. They're showing clips from a gorgeous looking film where not that much happens and we're having voiceover man tell us that you know we we're not going to show you in the trailer but trust us this spine tingling tale of terror it's lots of people sitting down and walking through doors and things like that <laughs> what else can they have this isabel black is gorgeous though Oh, okay. The animated bat attack. See, oh, they're showing the bats again. They did this in the trailer for uh, The Brides of Dracula. They, they showed the rubber bats, and I don't understand why. <laughs> I suppose the bats in this one are the only really big special effect that the movie has. So they had to show a little bit of it. And at least, I guess, they showed it fleetingly in the trailer for The Brides of Dracula. That big rubber bat was all over the place twice and it looked awful in the film and it looked even worse in the trailer out of context. So I suppose there was nothing that they could do but show a little bit of the bat attack from the from the end of that movie. But uh, yeah, they were really pretending that that film is a lot sexier than it actually was and really selling a lot of stuff that's definitely going to happen in this film that's going to be spine tingling terror that we just can't show you so here's some people <laughs> opening doors and sitting down in chairs and standing around in rooms talking to one another <laughs> 